Well, hello everyone, Billy in here with another LEGO Avatar 2023 review, and this one's on the Metkina Reef Home, of course. So on the front of the box here, we would have the LEGO Avatar logos and picture of the whole set resting in the waters, of course, and also model does not float, of course. And that neat border that we've seen for all this wave and the four mini figs included and recommended ages nine and up set number seven five five seven eight has two five hundred and twenty eight pieces. And on the back side of which do you have a little nice display of the whole set going on and also a few other views of it and yeah. And onto the instruction manual, oh, which still having that on rendering that there is. I see how they're switching over to paper bags and add for the builder app. And then how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. Then add for our all the avatar sets that there are. And then the last building steps. So now on to the mini figs included here. We which have a Kintiri of which fit face printing quite the same as we've had in a few previous sets of which, but torso printing, which I think is probably exclusive to the to this one, and our leg printing I think might be exclusive, but pretty sure it did come in a couple of sets before, but as I and also same hair piece as in those previous sets well. But aside from that, still good to see here. And next thing which we have Kiri. Oh, which, which face printing done quite well, and also the or torso printing, uh, quite good for how it is, and and leg printing great as well, and of course, and hair piece which, like we've seen on a couple other figs in this wave. But yeah, and also holding a ort piece I would use for the kayak that is included in this one. And next to which is Tanuari, which like we've also seen in the Skimwing Adventure set. And of course, holding the same staff piece as in that set. And I'm not sure if it's me, but I think the torso printing might be exclusive, but I'm not sure. Or, but, well, yeah. And then last to which is Ronal. Which, however, all the prints of which, great. And also, the face printing, quite neat for how it is. Especially with the seashell bit to it, like she does in the movie. Of which, great to see there. And of course, still using those same tail pieces then. Oh well, and the back side, which all of which do have some quite good back torso printing thing for how they are, but yeah. And so that is about it with this minifig selection. Into one of the side builds, of which is this little uh, coral reef bit, of which, and like the others in this wave, resting on corner dark blue plate there and also have a couple of those like leaf pieces in both dark and light pink of course and also a couple of cheek slopes in turquoise nice to see there and of course resting on a 2 by 4 brick and a jagged slope and an action uh, action base piece there but yeah the next to which is 
this little canoe or kayak kind of build, or just canoe build, which as you see does have a couple of those larger spiky pieces with both in both turquoise and sand green, which is great to see in different in this coloring. So for mocking, that would be great to see. So, and like for this center bit of which has a couple of has a couple of studs showing, like obviously to work with there with a couple of the long leg pieces then. And also do have some of those cow horn pieces in uh, brown acting as like extra detailing of course. And also those cheese slopes in the color also nice to see and these bottom sections of which in sand green nice to see there but yeah. And now onto the reef home itself, which as you can see, a quite neat build and also a large mesh mix of all kinds of color. There's of that. And of course, for the big elephant in the room are the film pieces, like we saw with the Ailu and Banshees there. But also workable, like we saw on the Jakku Village set in Star Wars. But and of course, why I like this, obviously, to make this set more affordable. But yeah, as for this one side of which, as you can see, it does have a couple of small ugly rock pieces this on there, representing the stands or reef bits there. And also do have a couple of clear clip pieces holding the uh, lime green fish pieces on there, like we saw on a couple other sets of this wave. And some more of that, of those leaf pieces going on as well. And also do you get some of these like uh, dome pieces and balloon bottom pieces in trans green and light green. Uh, not sure what for, but whatever, but also another action stand uh, piece there it's there to look like the characters are swimming in this section which the blue bottom pieces in uh, in orangish yellow there and also do have uh, some more of those fish pieces going on but and to the uh, slope pieces in turquoise which get you get plenty of, a lot of those in this set nice to see and also you get these large cylinder pieces acting as like stands, as the stilts for the reef home, which in dark brown. Great to see it here. And on the other side of which, there's a lot of the same stuff going on. And then other side of which, as you can see, there's one of the like large. Uh, flower pieces there and the another glow in the dark uh, bit there like we saw in some of the sets and also a craft piece in orangish yellow which we, which we don't see very often but great to see here and that's for this whole home like bit right here I have a ladder piece that leads up to it and also you get those large hexagon plate pieces in both light and dark blue for that which is good to see. Whereas for this section of which has large ones of it and also have the uh, both the clear studs and clear flat studs and also uh, white corner plates there representing some of the waves and bubbles of the ocean that it is. And also a little round jumper plate right, space to fit your kayak onto. And also do you get little docking section with a few couple of plates and also a barrel with the orange fish piece there and which leads to the reef home itself which from this angle quite good for how it is <laughs> <sighs> bless me 
And it's, it has plenty of good stuff going on here. Like you get one of those uh, odd uh, curved plate pieces like we see in the Super Mario line. Great to see here. And also a lot of the large grill pieces. It's but in dark tan. Nice to see. And, and of course you have a little bit of a fire going on in there. Or, oh, which with a pot and fish and also a little pumpkin that's probably representing a lantern. And, and one second of which is probably a pot of fur or something. And this other side of which has just a bunch of uh, tan grill pieces is on there. Mostly to be the rest of it or bedding for them. In this upper section with this odd little build of it which has a few of the leaf pieces and also those like larger uh, leaf pieces in sand in all green. Nice to see. As for this back side of which have another little coral like piece going on there. And I see a little better view of this interior like bedding section again and also a couple of jumper uh, plates on there. And also from this side a few technic bits holding things and also a little pitchfork for that. Probably to spear the fishes or something. And I guess that's about it with this set. So now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a really good set, or I mean, great set for how it is. Like, get one of the like, since it's one of the most best and most notable parts of the movie, and also do get minifig selection and the good minifig selection. Like, like yet another variant of Natiri, and of course, finally get Ronald in this one. But although it's also good to have. Tanawari in this set, uh, other than in the Skimwing adventure set. But as for the build of which, uh, quite good for how it is, regardless of the film pieces there. Using that, and also get a lot of pieces in interesting color, you know, in like turquoise and all. But and also a lot of pieces could put to some clever use to that. Oh, which is still great for that. And for the price to piece ratio, kind of steep. Although I think 60 or 65 could have worked out a little better, but whatever. But as is, still great for that. Although I think another uh, coral bit to it also would have been nice to include as well. Or maybe that would have been a little much, but yeah. And so now if you're looking at the get this set to go in your avatar display well definitely pick this up and if you have just seen avatar 2 and uh, looking to celebrate seeing it also definitely pick this up and that's about it oh also forgot to mention there is a little torch as you see in the picture somewhere in this build forgot to mention that but yeah but anyways and if you're still looking to get this set also worth picking up. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.